Hello friends, welcome back to another weekly vlog. This is gonna be a fun one because y'all are gonna come with me to Cabo. I leave tomorrow. So today is basically just kind of a prep day. I didn't really wanna have a ton of work to do. I just wanted to hang out with Josie. I already miss her. It's so hard <laughs> leaving little ones, but at the same time, it's also so, so exciting. <laughs> Anyway, I'm currently sitting in my car eating the best avocado toast of all time. I talk about Spiller Park all the time. If you live in Atlanta or if you're visiting, they have multiple locations and I highly recommend. They also have really good coffee. So I live really far away from Spiller Park and the only reason I'm here right now is because I had a little bit of an issue with my spray tan situation. I'm not going to go into all the details and honestly, I'm not going to vent about it because it wasn't ideal, but at the same time, it allowed me to get my favorite avocado toast and listen to the Taylor Swift era's set list. That's like pretty much all my playlist or Spotify is gonna be on until the concert. I go in at the end of April here in Atlanta. And originally I didn't want any spoilers. I was seeing it all over TikTok. So I've already like seen the set and stuff. And so I was a little like, mm, I wanna be surprised. And I didn't want to know what song she was going to play, but I changed my mind on that because now I just want to listen to the set and like know what to expect. And I also was thinking it would be nice to know what songs are coming up because if I have to like have an emergency bathroom break, I know when is the best time. You know, I have toast on my mouth. Cool. Because personally, don't be offended by this, but just the whole evermore like is it folklore? I can't even say that word honestly like what comes to mind is like Lord Farquaad <laughs> um, but those soundtracks just didn't do it for me at my phase of life I mean I basically grew up with Taylor Swift when she was 22 I was 22 and all the other CDs I just love so much more than those so now I know when those songs that I don't really know are gonna come up and that's when I can like take a break if I need to. Long story short. Was that short? I don't know. Anyway, back to the spray tan thing. My normal spray tan place is closed on Sunday and Monday and I just didn't wanna get a spray tan on Saturday for the trip. That's just too far, oh, like early I think. So I was trying to schedule someone to come to my house today because it would be a lot more convenient. I would have more time with Josie. I'd have just more time in general, but she was being so wishy-washy with her communication. I mean, I've been trying to book. I think I reached out to her at the beginning of March and I was just like following up. And then even today, like we just didn't have a confirmed time and it was making me anxious because I was like, are you, are you gonna be able to come? I'm confused. So I just ended up booking it somewhere else. Not ideal, but I think it actually ended up being ideal now that I'm here listening to Taylor Swift. It's been totally fine, which just goes to show it's all about how you look at things and your mindset for the, those types of situations. Anyway, I'm going to eat my toast. I don't have a ton of time. I need to get to my appointment. I'm about to put Enchanted on and I will bawl my eyes out probably during this song. It's like one of my all-time favorite songs and I don't think I've ever heard it live with all the tours. I've only gone, I've gone to Reputation and I've just seen her like open up for Rascal Flats when she was little Taylor Swift, you know? I actually saw Taylor Swift at a free concert at the Mall of Georgia. I think I was a freshman in college. And thinking about how far she's come, because honestly, I didn't go to a lot of her earlier concerts because her voice was just not that great. It just wasn't that great in person. But now, like, Reputation was such a good concert. I just can't wait. Okay, five minute intro. I'm gonna eat my toast. Check in with y'all later. What is this? This is strawberry margarita.
Hello friends, welcome to Cabo. I am so excited to be here for the week and bring y'all along with me. Today has been a very long travel day. With the time change and everything, I feel like I'm already ready for bed. Um, it's currently, I think, 3.30 here. And we're settling into the room right now. So I wanted to give y'all a quick room tour before it gets too messy. But this is our view on the balcony. So we have one of the pools here. I think there's five or eight. There's eight pools on the property. So there's one right there. Then there's the ocean. And we have this huge balcony with this hammock. So cute. And then this sitting area right here. And then here's our room. These double doors open up. We have this little sitting area here. Here's our bed. We were greeted with guacamole and margaritas. Oh wait, why is it so dark? There we go. Adjusting, so we haven't had the margarita yet, but I ate pretty much most of the guac because I was starving. <laughs> Amanda's nodding her head. <laughs> um, we have not so much storage. Oh, this is nice. I have my shoes in the bathroom right now, but maybe I'll move them out here. <laughs> Um, then we have this vanity area, which is nice. Here's what I traveled in. I had a little Spanx sweatshirt over top because it was obviously much colder in Atlanta. And then here's our closet. I'll show y'all what I packed. Um, so it's kind of nice because we have this divider, but this is what Amanda packed. And then here's what I packed. You could probably guess <laughs> which side was mine. Um, pretty much stuck with like white tan a little bit of blue cute little cover-up y'all will of course be seeing my outfits when I actually wear them on the trip and then I have a couple bags here my luggage down below and then here's the bathroom which is so nice because we have our own sinks again we're getting ready that's gonna be awesome shower bathtub look at Amanda's cute dress she's gonna wear tonight it's from rent the runway Actually, this is like the perfect Cabo print. Um, and then the mirrors even have this really nice lighting. So I have my toiletries here, um, like sunscreen and stuff, although they do have sunscreen down at the pool. Hair stuff, here's my makeup, little jewelry box. I did bring my Dyson, cannot live without this thing. Um, so that's my little blow dryer. And then here are my shoes down here, which I might move them out to where hers are. So I have a pair of sandals, two wedges, and then these are the heels that I'm gonna wear for the wedding. That is our gorgeous hotel room. It's so beautiful here. The weather is also perfection. It's 70s and breezy. Although I feel like my eyes are struggling <laughs> with the breeze and the brightness, I think but they've just been kind of watering. So I did learn the hard way that my little travel perks don't necessarily work for international flights. My luggage was overweight and I just, I was just like, well, no, it's fine. Cause I thought I get 70 pounds with my credit card and like my Delta status. Like when I fly domestic, I get 70 pounds for free. So I didn't even think twice about it. <laughs> Not the case with international. So that was, a big bill for my bag it was 63 pounds and I was like dang it if I knew that I could have brought a smaller check or carry-on bag but I was like wow it all fit in this bag so I'm good lesson learned <laughs> just FYI if you're flying international and then we had a pretty smooth flight over bumpy a little bit um have some cool stuff in my bag I think it'd be funny to share what's in my little tote bag that I brought on the plane because I was just panicked throwing stuff in my bag this morning. I had like clothes in there that I probably don't even need. So maybe I'll go through that. I even think I threw like hair extensions in there. Who knows what's all in there. So this was my um, plane bag and I bought this actually to use as a diaper bag and I didn't really use it for that because I didn't need this much space. But this is the best travel brand because these straps are so comfortable. Amanda uses the larger one. Where's your MZ Wallace tote? Uh, it's in the drawer. Okay. So she has the bigger one. This is the medium size. And it's just like a never-ending bag. It fits 
so much and it has the zipper so your stuff stays secure. And then this is how I traveled with my hat. Um, this one I got at Saks, but you can get these much cheaper on Amazon. But it's just like a little magnet for your hat. And here I have, I brought, did bring this little cashmere scarf in case it gets chilly at night or for the wedding or if I got like cold on the plane, you can use it as a blanket. Got my iPad. Threw my scrunchie in here. I ate a chomps on the plane. Probably need to charge my phone. All right. My friend is shooting a campaign. Look how tiny this suit is. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I've never seen a swimsuit this small. This is crazy. So this will be interesting to shoot together. <laughs> All right, so here, I have to like squat down, but here is my dress that I'm wearing for dinner tonight. I don't normally go for like cutout things, but I just thought this one fit so well and I really liked kind of like the bow detail to it. Um, it has such a great A-line shape to it. I'm wearing a medium and then I'm wearing it with these bow wedges. And then I kind of just touched up my hair. I'm gonna shower tonight. Um, did new makeup and then put on this Julie Voss pearl bracelet. And then for earrings I have on, I forget the designer of these. I got them at like a boutique. <laughs> There's Amanda. Just got our dinner. We have jazz music going. It's just a vibe. Um, so I ordered avocado pizza. Like. I didn't even have to really look at the menu. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I love avocado toast, so I'll, of course, love avocado pizza. And then you got the steak and potatoes. So yummy. So we are going to enjoy. Good morning. It's our first full day here in Cabo. We just got ready with the time change. We were up pretty early. I initially woke up at 4.30 this time, just 7.30 Atlanta time. Then I was able to kind of fall back asleep, but we got to see the sunrise right outside of our room and hear like the birds chirping. It was so just relaxing. And then now we are ready. We're gonna go. My friend has to shoot a bathing suit. Um, she's working with free people. So we are going to shoot that. And then I'll probably shoot this outfit. I'm trying to make a reel of all of my outfits that I'm wearing. So I feel extra cute for our little coffee run, but we're in, we're in a vacay when I'll start gonna dress cute. I'm like stay at home mom life. So I'm, it's nice to like get ready um, for the day. So I have on this little pink button down. I got this a couple years ago now from H&M and it's just a pale pink. I'll try to find something similar. And then I just did a double knot here. And then these linen pants are from Petal and Puck. They're just like flowy, loose and comfy. I hope they're still available and they did reactivate my pedal and pep code. I think it's strawberry chic. And then I paired it with my Iran sandals. I'm a little nervous because we're gonna do lots of walking. So I'll be breaking these in. I've heard that you do have to break them in. So I will keep you posted. I know y'all are waiting on a review, but I'll link some look for less options. I actually have a blog post rounding up a ton of options on strawberry chic. So I'll link that down below as well as like one or two of the best look for less in the description box. I put my hair up in this little clip from Anthropology. I have it in a ponytail so it's secure because my hair is so fine. They normally slip right out of these clips. So I have a ponytail and then I just did a little loop there and then pulled some pieces. My hair is so dirty. That's why it's actually looking a little bit blonder because it has so much dry shampoo in it. Um, but yeah. I really like how that turned out. All right, we shot the content that we needed to get. So now we switched into our pool gear and we're gonna get breakfast and then hang by the pool. So I'm wearing, y'all are on a pizza box, hold on. Can you hold this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm wearing this one piece swimsuit. It's so comfortable. It's really hard to find white or lighter swimsuits that aren't see-through. I love the ruffle here, there's padding, so it's not see-through. And then this cover up is actually from Amazon. It comes in so many colors. I just threaded it through this little wood thing that came with so it. So cute. And I still have the slippers on, but I'll switch into sandals. And then my pool bag, y'all have seen this bag before, but this is my Abbott Leon tote. 
it's actually pretty heavy because I have just kept throwing stuff in there. And I have my little bag clip. And as far as pool essentials, I'll share what's in my pool bag when we get to the pool. But we're ready. So we are here at breakfast. We just got our breakfast. I ordered the acai bowl and then a side of hash browns. And then you ordered the vegan chorizo. And I'm currently trying to write my caption for Instagram, which always takes me way longer than it should. Highly doubt y'all will see it, but there is a whale right out here. We just saw his little tail pop up. Oh, well, not so little tail, but <laughs> it's cool. Okay, so here is my pool bag. And then inside I have, let's see, random stuff. Tripod. <laughs> My Kindle, AirPods, some gum, some sanitizer, sunglass case. This is the bottled water. Chomps are my favorite snack. My phone. And then in here, I just have like lip balm, face sunscreen, extra hair tie. And then this is my favorite clean sunscreen. Um, it Soaks in better than other clean sunscreens that I've tried. So that's what's in my pool bag. And then this is the little clip that goes on here to hold your hat. And this is like my old faithful hat I've had for years and years. It just holds up really well. It doesn't like bend weird. So that's that. And then I'm wearing these Oran sandals. Full side guacamole. So good. I'm actually chilly, so I use my cover up as a blanket. So we are all ready for dinner. We pretty much hung out at the pool most of the day under the umbrella and we changed to dinner. I'm wearing this fun little scallop dress. I'll show it a little bit better here shortly. And then my friend's wearing this gorgeous little yellow romper jumpsuit. jumpsuit. From free people. Free people. Um, and then we have time. We're early. So early. Look at us. Um, and we have dinner at six o'clock and it's just beautiful. We're walking around the property, getting all the angles and all the photos. So I'm wearing this maxi dress and I love the colors. I'm wearing a medium. It's from Red Dress Boutique and I love the little bow ties. And then my earrings are from Julie Voss. Same with this bracelet and this bracelet too, actually. And then I'm just wearing my white Hermes sandals. And then this bag I got last year I don't think it's available with the bow, but this is my bag for tonight. And yeah, excited to eat. <laughs> we just sat at our table. This is just unreal. We have the crashing waves below us. The sun is setting over here. It'll probably get chilly. We'll just have to deal. Um, and then the cuisine looks so good. So I'll let you know what I order. <laughs> I'm all about the food. I ordered the lobster risotto. It has wild mushrooms, risotto, parmesan, breadcrumbs, and then you ordered the beef tenderloin. tenderloin. And then we had some bread. I did eat some. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, it is day three here in Cabo. We are currently sitting by the ocean, which you probably hear the waves. I feel like they're pretty loud. <laughs> Having our coffee, I got a vanilla latte and watching the sun come up over here. And there's actually some whales right out here. I think there's two whales. Um, oh, yep, they just, pop oh, yep, they're popping up. I wish y'all could see, but it's like so far away that it would be. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, there's like a couple. We can see there. Out there. When you see like a boat kind of just hanging out there, I'm like, oh, there must be a whale. There's like at least two out there. Um, I'm wearing this comfy little set from Amazon and then carrying my little woven bag that I have shared in a lot of my recent fashion videos. It's really comfy, great little vegan le leather bag. 
Um, and today we're just kind of knocking out a little bit more content. And then the wedding is tonight, so that is gonna be beautiful. It's actually gonna be right out here on the beach. I probably obviously won't vlog the wedding, but <laughs> we'll see what I can share from that. And then she's wearing this cute little free people jumpsuit and an H&M denim jacket. She says it's the best. Um, so yeah, we're just hanging out. We probably need to get breakfast soon. Oh, we do need to get breakfast. Take some more pictures. Mm -hmm. We had our moment. Yeah. We had our moment to relax. Yep. Have coffee. For like a good 30 minutes. We needed to slow down and enjoy it a little. And it's nice and cloudy right now. Mm -hmm. So it's like, the sun's not killing me yet. <laughs> oh, and I left my sunglass case at dinner last night. Um, cause I ended up having to put my sunglasses on my head just cause it was so windy. Um, but thankfully they had it at Lost and Found. So that was good to get back because I was worried about these like getting scratched cause I just bought them. Um, but yeah, that's all we're up to for today. Um, check in with y'all in a bit. All right, we're back at the room. We're gonna change and shoot a couple, I think, swim looks at the pool before it gets crowded. So I wanted to show y'all this super comfy Amazon set. It also comes in, I know, a pink stripe. I think there's a couple other color options. This is the tan, and I love the shorts. They're a little bit longer. I'm wearing a medium in the set. That's why is it blurry? Um, so I will link my storefront down below. And then I just had on my sandals. These are the only sandals that I brought, and I was nervous that they would hurt my feet because I've just heard you have to break them in, but they've honestly been fine, so that's good. Okay, look how cute my friend's hat is. They were making these yesterday and you can customize them. So this is the avocado toast. Look at all these topping options. And then here's the bread. And then I got some eggs. And then she got the same thing as yesterday. She has a lot of dietary restrictions. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to show you all my dress that I wore to breakfast today I am wearing a medium the straps are really nice and thick I feel like when I do strapless these are my favorite straps to go for um, it has this cute little ruffle here it also comes in cream and it is lined um, it is from Revolve and I feel like their prices are definitely higher um, sometimes I think the pricing is kind of ridiculous for the quality, but you can just find some really cute, unique stuff. Um, so I'll link this one below. And then I wore it with these bow wedges, which I got last year, but I actually was able to find them. They're super comfortable and the color is a really nice neutral. They do run true to size. And then for my earrings, I have on these. I just felt like they were perfect for Cabo. It's from their new spring collection. And then this pearl bracelet is from Julie Boss. I don't think in the vlog I've shared where we're staying yet, but we're staying at Esperanza where the wedding is taking place tonight. And I will say, I think this resort is the best hospitality that I've ever experienced in any other resort, any other hotel stay. The staff is just so kind and they're, they're like, wondering how they can help you constantly, which is just amazing. Like we were sitting at dinner, they brought over a little bag holder for us and then asked if we wanted a blanket, if we were getting chilly. So they definitely like have far surpassed my expectations as far as the hospitality here. And then they also were really helpful at the pool. They're like moving the umbrellas. If you want to be in the shade, it's very fancy. I mean, this is a pretty fancy place. Thankfully we got a discount with the wedding. Um, so yeah, definitely blown away by all of that. And, um, we're also feel so safe here as well. It's like through two gated, like two secured gates and it's kind of further back from the highway as well when we were coming in. So just feels very safe here if you're wondering, cause I have been getting some DMs about that when I've mentioned that we're going, um, here. Some people are like, is it safe to go there? And I have felt completely safe. And we did do transportation through the hotel as well, um, which was just nice. They were there waiting for us at the airport to care of our luggage and all of that. Um, one thing that was unexpected was how long it took to get out of customs. So we, I, I don't remember doing this, but you go through it twice in a way. So before you get your luggage, 
and then after you get your luggage it was kind of disorganized because there was just this really long line and it was going out where it said taxis so someone told us oh that's the line for the taxis and then come to find out it was the line to go through customs again and no one really knew what was happening so people would walk around and then eventually find out that they had to get in the line and it was just getting really long and kind of wrapping around so that was kind of unexpected i think it took us two hours to get out of the airport and then it was like a 35 minute drive from the airport to the resort so just felt like a long day of travel but definitely well worth it i mean it's so beautiful here the breeze it's nice it's actually warmer back at home in atlanta which is funny um so yeah let me show y'all the balcony right now it's just, I feel like the water is just sparkling right now. It's kind of hard to see. All right, I changed. We're going to head to the pool. This little dress I'm using as a swim cover-up. It is on the sheer side, so I would wear a slip underneath if you're not wearing it to the pool because you can kind of see my swimsuit coming up a little bit. Um, but it has such a cute fit. It has little buttons on the front. I'm wearing a size small. I have on my trusty sun hat, slathered in sunscreen. My favorite is the beauty counter for a cleaner sunscreen. And then again, the white sandals. And then I'm carrying this bag again for the pull bag. So I did pack this Dime body serum because I find it so cooling and I thought it'd be nice to use like after being out in the sun or just being out in the heat. Um, it's just like a little bit goes a long way and it's really moisturizing. So I use this after the shower and then I usually go in with the Dime oil, but I didn't pack it because it's a squirt top. So I just brought the one that this spray tan lady gave me. And that has been maintaining my tan so well. I'm honestly shocked that I haven't had to reapply anything and it's like still so dark. We are wedding ready. We just ran out and did our photos and shot our quick little reel. So I'll show y'all what I'm wearing. Um, and also we put on, what is it, the Fenty? Uh, something, it's like an illuminator from Fenty and they have a bunch of different shades. I have a, I think mine's like pearl, so it's like not super tan. And then she has Honey Bunny. Will you put honey, that? Honey Body Sauce. Body Sauce, that's a good name. Um, so I put that on my chest and it just gives a really pretty glow. It's almost like makeup for your skin. Although I feel like my face is a little, little light compared to She the looks rest. like a goddess. I'm like, <laughs> a goddess. <laughs> um, and then Amanda helped me with my party pony. I never really do hair up, but I was just feeling it today. It just got really dark. So we just did like a simple ponytail and teased it. Did some pieces in the front. Why is it so dark? Here we go. Okay, so I'll show you. Here, you want to show them what you're wearing? Oh, sure. Well, I took my shoes off, so I'll stand on my toes. Yes, because the ceremony's on the beach, so. So this is from Revolve. I can't remember the brand. But I liked Lucas. it because it was fancy enough, but it still kind of had that, like, beachy vibe. And it's true to size and very, very fun to wear. Yes, I already got tons of compliments on it. Um, And then I'm wearing this one. is from Anthro size six true to size i did forget my sphinx which i was so bummed about just because i feel like i would feel more secure it's like a security blanket i guess um but i love this color this is the pink i believe and then i paired it with these heels they have like little bobbles on the end and then they tie i just wanted something really simple since there's already a lot going on with the dress and then just threw on these hoops very simple. So we're gonna cool off here and then head out to the wedding. We just got back from a little coffee walk and breakfast and I wore this white dress. I shared this in my loft haul um, with this belt. You can get these on Amazon, so I'll link them down below. My hair is still like teased and hairsprayed from last night, so I just have it in a low bun with my sun hat on. 
Um, and you could also double up and wear this as a swim cover up as well. So comfortable, runs true to size. Also, I have to mention, so the heels I wore last night, I had no idea. I've never seen this before. Um, so these are the shoes that I wore. They're so cute and they're actually really comfortable as well. They're not like super tall, but I wanted to mention if you buy these, there is actually a like little film on the bottom and it didn't look like it was anything to take off until like I started wearing it and now you can see you have to like peel this little shiny layer off. You can see this one's peeled off and it's actually a leather sole. I totally busted it going down the stairs cause I just slipped and have like a little knot cut right here. So if you do buy these shoes, definitely peel off the little shiny part cause it's really slippery. We did a quick change. I'm gonna shoot this outfit. It's such a cute little swim cover up. It's actually a romper. It's really flowy, has a little bit of a lower back. I am wearing a small on this one. If you're in between, I would recommend a size down. Um, kept on the, my hair the exact same. Threw on these little earrings from Kendra Scott and sandals. And then after this, we're gonna be heading over to the spa for a massage, which I'm so thankful I booked it last minute. After last night, like wearing the heels and like being up late, like my body was desperate for a massage. So I'm excited for that. We just finished up at the spa. We have both had massages this morning and now we are at the pool and they gave us these huge coconuts. Whole coconuts, they're actually quite heavy. I haven't even had a sip of mine yet, but I know it's gonna be so refreshing. And then we ordered, I ordered the filet tacos that I got yesterday because they were so good. And some guac and chips. I'm in the same Amazon sweater. It honestly feels nice out here, it's really breezy. This is what I wore to the spa, so we were just hungry and wanted to come and eat. Um, so I think we're just gonna hang out here the rest of the day. Mm -hmm.